Local colleges and universities are looking forward to the fall, setting COVID-19 precautions before students return to the classroom or in-person learning. News 2's Lexi Moore spoke with schools on their preparations for students coming back for in-person learning. COVID vaccinations have been available to students for months, but the upcoming fall semester officials at Charleston Southern University say they're taking steps in the right direction to ensure a safe campus. A fight over vaccinations underway at universities across the low country. See more vaccine hesitancy since uh, vaccination has opened up just to the general population. Charleston Southern University's pandemic task force says they're planning for the fall semester. To ensure students come back to a safe campus, so far vaccinations are not required but highly recommended. Really just encourage our students to reflect and understand that the choices that they make when they're off campus potentially affect them and affect a lot of others on campus. The university plans to coordinate with doctors and medical leaders for the upcoming semester. Until we know that we have reached a herd immunity level, which we're pretty far from, at this point we'll have to continue with masking and distancing. Medical experts believe this method is one all low country universities should follow. For what we have right now, the fastest way for us to end a pandemic that's been going on for uh, upwards of 15, 16, 17 months. CSU says it's playing the patience game to see how the summer pans out for vaccines and upticks in case numbers. We may look at that sort of as a model for how things work if we opt to track that in the future, not because it's required. College of Charleston and Citadel officials tell me they're continuing to follow their school's COVID guidelines as well as CDC recommendations. In North Charleston, I'm Lexi Moore. Count on two.